This is a video on opening files in EpiInfo. So you've already created a project, you want to go back and you want to edit it or you want to start entering data or analyze something. So something you might think to do is go to the place where you've saved the file. So this is the last project I created. I saved it in this pathway, so I might, you know, go to the folder and see it, see my project folder, double click on it like I might a Word file. And look, it's not going to allow me to do that. Um, and then if I try clicking on the access file, it's going to open access. This is not at the info. This is not what I'm looking for. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to have to go to the Epi Info program. So I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to go to my start engine and either find the icon here or type it in here if it didn't automatically pop up. I'm going to go ahead and select that and I'm going to see that nice blue start menu. There are four different ways you can pull in and open your data. You can do it under Create Forms, Enter, and then under Analyzing Data, Classic, or Visual dash Dashboard. I'm going to start with entering data because I already created it and I want to start entering stuff. I'll click, I'll see this, and Open Form is in the top left. I'm going to click on that. This button here that's got the three dots is always what allows me to search. I select this and I can find New Project. My PRJ file, I've highlighted it, it shows up down here, and then I'm going to click Open. You can save multiple forms to the same project. I only have one here, that looks good. I'll click OK. It may take a second, and great, here's my project form. I've already entered one um, item from before. So if I want to start entering something new or enter a different thing, I'm going to go up to New Record. I can see I have one of one. So I'm going to click on New Record. We'll say March 1st, 13. I had 20 students and I was in the high school. If I hit Tab, it'll take me to a new record. Um, and I can even go back and say, well, wait a second. Did that save? Sure enough, there it is. So this is a really nice function that you can keep entering. What if I want to edit my form? Do I have to go back to this and go into create forms or enter forms? I could, but I can also go up here and say edit. Say I realize like, oh wow, I'm also presenting at an alternative school. I can go into edit forms. The screen will disappear and cause me anxiety. I could go into school, properties, and add another legal value that says alternative school. Click OK. And did that work? Yep, great. It's another op op uh, drop down. If I want to go back to entering my data, I just clicked enter data. The screen will disappear. This may take a while again to go between screens depending on how fast your computer is. And now, voila, I have that. So this is one way I can open and start entering. I can always select save up here. Say I'm just going into a new file. Um, oops, sorry, new record. There we go. We'll enter one more. 15 students in the alternative school. Great. What if, we'll say save. What if I want to analyze my data? I'm encouraging people to use the visual dashboard. I won't be showing the classic today. I could either go back and enter data, pull up my previous form, like I did before, new project, new form, and go into visual dashboard right here. I'll click on this. It'll take a second and it can take me to the place where I'm going to analyze my data. So this is where I can do something such as getting a frequency count. I want to know how often, you know, what type of school we're in. Oh, so there we go. I've got one entry for alternative, one for high school, and one for middle school. So this is where I'm going to do my analysis. The cool thing is I can have these screens up at once. So I can be entering data here, I can be editing my form here, and I can be clicking on my dashboard um, down here. One other thing that's kind of cool, say I add a new record, um, 15 students, 
we're going to put another one at the alternative school. If I go back to my dashboard and I hit this nice little refresh button, click, you'll see, voila, now I have two alternative schools opened. So that, I think, is a really nice feature. But if I wasn't entering data and I just wanted to do analysis, I could even go straight into Visual Dashboard. I could hit Set a Data Source. I'm looking for an Epi Info Project file. Great. I'm going to search and I can go into that PRJ project file. Select my form, hit OK, and I can see up on the top here, four records, new form. If I ever want to double check, I can right click and get a line listing, select all, and I can see all of the entries that I have. Look, four entries. This is a bunch of junk that the program automatically does, like when was it saved, who was doing it, but here are my, th my three main entries, date, number of school students, and school. So that is how you open, oops, that is how you open in these three forms. Um, I guess I'll show you real quickly, if I wanted to open in the classic form, I would click here, I would go up into read, Epi Info Project, search, hmm, and this is going to take me to a different screen. Well, that's okay. I know it's in my C drive under Users and Events and Projects, or Epi Info 7, Projects, New Project. There it is. Wow, that was quite a pathway. New form, okay. So if you're ever doing things in the classic analysis, here it came in four records looks good. Opening a form, you can do it in four different ways depending on what you're hoping to accomplish.